Brooksaw Antiques here. Today we have this 1956 to 1958 Tower Chieftain Vintage Portable Typewriter. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. With these, these flip up support arms and the margins are located here behind the platen. And I like to set them at the beginning and the end of the page. I'm going to set them about right there and right there. This is the paper bill that sits on top and holds the paper down. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You hit the sliding space, skips back to the beginning and skips one, two, or three. Right now we have it on single, but if you want double, you just flip it up one. Skips two, one more, skips three, that works good. It's also a zero option, but we're gonna keep it on one. As you can see, all the keys tight nice and none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sentence on the next line in red. Switch from black to red, you switch, flip this switch right here. There's a blue, white, and red dot. When you flip it down to the red dot, it prints the bottom portion of the ribbon, which has a dual color, which is black on top and red on the bottom. Beautiful typing machine. This was made by Olivetti, and this is very similar to the Olivetti Letera 22, which is one of my favorite typewriters. Very modern feel to it, even though it was made in the 50s. And the line space, once I went, once I used the knob, it does have spaces, so that's why that's bunched up. But when you use the line space, it will, see, see this is all, each one of those clicks is a half a space. But if you type one way, and you do the line, the line space like that, it'll do a full space, as you can see. That works good. We're going to zoom back out and finish the tutorial here. To pull the page out easy, you just flip this switch to the front and it unlocks the rollers underneath the platen, allowing you to pull the page out easy or load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock. Make sure you flip that back before you load the next page or else it won't load correctly. You flip these back down. The shift on each side and the shift lock on the left. To clear that, you just hit the shift button again. Backspace on the right side. That works good. We're going to flip the switch back up to blue where it prints the top portion of the ribbon. The middle doesn't print at all. So that works good. This handle, by the way, flips back and tucks in. So when you have it in the carrying case, it doesn't damage that handle. And here is your carrying case. It's a leather zip. Pretty cool. We're going to take the top off here and access the spools. All the brand new ribbon is loaded on the left side, so it's pulling to the right clockwise. And if you want to switch that direction, behind the spool is a holder that holds the ribbon, and you just move it to one side or the other to switch the direction. We're going to keep it pulling to the right for now. And this is your touch control, and you have numbers closer one through four. And the higher up you go, the more tension there is when you hit the keys. Um, there's a little spring in there. You can see it. So what it does is it just pulls that spring and creates tension on the keys. So the higher the tension, the harder you have to hit the keys and they respond faster. But the lower, you don't have to hit them as hard, and but they don't respond as fast. It's kind of like typing more on a computer. This specific typewriter and the Olivetti 22, which are one of my most popular models that I ever get, is almost like as modern as you can get with a typewriter. And I don't know how they did that back in the 50s. But everything about this typewriter is well made. And it just feels modern. But you can't buy a modern typewriter today that would be as good as this. Because they're all made in China and out of plastic. Got a carriage release on each side. Right here. Top. 
and on this side up top same thing that works good this is your locking mechanism so if you move the carriage to a certain spot it'll lock the carriage so that protects it when it's in its case when you lift it up it unlocks it and if you push in the knob on the left and you turn the knob it doesn't click and it, so you can get to an exact spot on the page and when you let go of it each one of those clicks is once what half of a space and that's it now available on ebay or etsy search brooksaw antiques